So how do we draw a negative 315 degree angle in standard position? So what we're going to do is we're going to start always with our initial side on the positive x-axis. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to label my axes now in terms of degrees. Now since this we're dealing with a negative problem, uh, we know we're rotating in a clockwise fashion. If it were positive, then we would, we would be rotating in a counterclockwise fashion. So zero, no matter what, is going to be on the positive x. Now since I'm rotating in a clockwise fashion, this becomes now 90 degrees at the bottom, but technically it becomes negative 90, okay? And then as I rotate on over to here, this is technically then 180, and then this would be negative 270, okay? And then going back to this, it would be negative 360. If you had to then label it the standard way, you would start again with zero here, but this would have been positive 90, this would have been positive 180, and this would have been positive 270, and then this would have been positive 360. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but I like to view it in a negative fashion because I think it makes sense. Uh, it makes it easier to visualize. Now what I need to do is I need to represent the negative 315 degree angle. So where should that lie? Well, if I rotate clockwise, here's 90, here's 180, here's 270. I better not go all the way to 360, right? I have to be some short of that. So maybe somewhere in here, right? Maybe something like that. Does that make sense? So that's what we're trying to look to do. We're trying to now... Let me just see if I can get that line. We're trying to rotate now this angle, all right? 90, 180, 270, and maybe stop now right there or so, right? We're looking to now stop there. So that represents now a negative 315 degree angle, all right? So from 270, right, this is about 45 degrees over. Right? If you were to take, you can even do the math, right? Take 315 and then subtract 270. What do you get? 45. So in other words, you then know that this little piece inside, if you had to give this positive angle here, should then be 45 degrees, right? 45 degrees. And that's rotated now clockwise. So if you had to start again with this line and then you rotated it now, right? Boom. Oh, oh nope. That's rotating the wrong one. Yeah, I can't get to it. But you know what I'm trying to say. If you were to rotate now that all the way up in a positive way, meaning counterclockwise, it would have been 45 degrees. And that's it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. If it did, help us out. Please subscribe, like, tell your friends. We'll see you soon. we got more videos coming. Bye.